There are more than 30 blood group systems. The ABO system is the most important of all blood group systems due to presence of natural A and B antigens in the individual, presence of the RBC and lack of corresponding antibodies in the plasma. So, here we will perform blood group B by ABO and RA system to determine presence of different antigens. Principle RBC is containing different types of antigens, also known as agglutinogens, and plasma contains antibodies known as agglutinins. Red blood cells are allowed to react with commercially available agglutinins. To perform the practical, we require test tube. 0.9% normal saline, anti-sera, anti-sera A, anti-sera B, anti-sera D, for serine time, slide with cover slip. Dropper and microscope. Procedure Take 2 ml of 0.9% normal saline in a test tube. Make a sterile fingerprint and collect the sample into the test tube. Here we are using already collected sample of blood. Mix the solution to get red cell suspension. Now take porcelain type and label it with anti A as A, anti B as B, anti D as D and control as C. Place few drops of sera accordingly. Anti A in the type that written A, B, anti B in B, anti D in B and red cell suspension in control. Add a drop of red cell suspension in A, B and D. Mix it by gently shaking the style and wait for 5 to 10 minutes. Check for agglutination and compare it with a control sample. You can see we get agglutination in B, not in any other. Place a drop of agglutinated sample on slide. Place cover slip and confirm your finding under low power in microscope. Observation If agglutination is found in peat containing anti-A, the group is A. If it is in anti-B peat, the group is B. If agglutination found in both, the group will be AB. If no agglutination is seen in either, it is O group. If agglutination is seen in the pit with NTT, the person is RH positive and if not seen, the person is RH negative. In our practical, we get agglutination in B. Therefore, our blood group is B and we couldn't find agglutination in D. Therefore, our blood group is negative, Rh negative. Therefore, the blood group is B Rh negative. We can confirm the findings under low power of the microscope. If there is no agglutination, the RBCs remain separated and evenly distributed. You can see in the first diagram. And if agglutination occurs, RBCs are massed together in clumps and lose their outline. It is depicted in the second diagram. So this way we can confirm our finding 